I'm trying to become a beauty guru, but no sé lo que estoy haciendo, so. Ooh, ooh, that's very disappointing. What is up, you guys? You're watching Sergio Secrets. Welcome back to my... Before I get started, every single thing that I'm going to be talking about today will be linked down below. Subscribe to the channel, give a thumbs up, and... ¿Qué me falta? Me falta como decir algo. Yeah, everything will just be linked down below if I miss anything. Y ya va a comenzar con el video. So today, I'm going to be trying Victoria's Secret makeup. So there's a few pieces that I'm going to be talking about. But I also want to be... I also want to try out the Morphe X Jeffree Star makeup sponges. So basically, I'm just going to do a chit-chat, get ready with me. I'm going to try to make it maybe like under 50 minutes but I'm um, gonna go ahead and talk about the products from Victoria's Secret and their makeup collection so their makeup collection ranges from $12 to $24 so it's a bit about more like Sephora collection prices and I'm gonna apply makeup and we're gonna be talking and swatching and just having a good old jolly time but let me show you the items that are in this Victoria's Secret collection first so we have the power tools so this one retails for $18 and it comes with three brushes and I'm very excited to try these brushes because um, Victoria's Secret has made brushes in the past but I guess they're redoing makeup so um, I did want to pick that up I have the eyeshadow palette from Holidays these are Elsa Hoax's eyes I love Elsa Hoax so 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 much one of my Victor favorite Victoria's Secret models in the freaking world so I have they there are six shades of them I have a mascara as well this one's called the major lashes mascara um, we have, have the highlighting palette and it comes with three shades so we have the color white gold sparkling champagne and then we have honey lights and I think that the names of this palette could have been a little bit more original they just sound very very generic the just say glow highlighting stick and this one right here is $16 we have the Victoria's Secret brow or never and this one right here is going to be at $12 and then we have one lip E in the color Perfection. And this one's a cream lip satin. So this is the color of these. I have tried these in the past, but this one's a brand new one because I wanted to do like a brand new Victoria's Secret. Like kind of like makeup. And then the newest item is the Eye Glow Cream Shimmer Eyeshadow Duo. And there are they, there are two of them and they both have little duos. I don't know how to apply makeup, guys. I should have disclosed that in, in the beginning of the video. Pero... Um, you're just gonna see me do my makeup and let's see if I know what I'm doing sponges I'll be right back I'm gonna go wet these and then we can start with today's video I went ahead and wetted the Jeffree Star X Morphe um, or Morphe X Jeffree Star no se como se dice sponge this goes so let's see if I know how to do makeup because I feel like I don't know how to do makeup so um, if I don't know how to do anything if I did something wrong please educate me because I really don't know what I'm doing but we're gonna get started. So, um, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the professional um, primer. What I like to do with the professional is I like to put it all over my T zone, and I just like I don't know. I just like this mattifying it, and I like that it fills in my pores. And with the Too Faced three in one um, hung over setting spray. <laughs> no say like guys like please like, do not judge me and I'm looking at my handy dandy mirror from Ikea so I'll be wetting my face like I'm doing something that I'm not supposed to be doing so I'm gonna be like this <laughs> I'm in an Armani um I'm in the Armani mood today this one's in the shade um 6.5 and then we're gonna be mixing it with the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow so what I like to do is I like to put the Wonder on, it's a little shimmery, and then I like to shake my Luminous Silk, and then I kind of put um, one, two, three, four pumps of it, grab it with a sponge, and I kind of mix it, be applying this on my skin. It just gives me like a nice and glowy look. I just like the, the mixture of Luminous Silk and um, the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. I just feel like it gives me like the perfect, perfect, perfect amount of glow the perfect amount of coverage of makeup. Like I just really, really, really like it for whatever reason. I think Armani Luminous Silk is a medium coverage foundation. I would say even more of a sheer. I wouldn't say it's um, full, full coverage because I do have full coverage foundations. Like I have the um, Remarkable Foundation. Um, I feel like my skin from one to 10, how confident or how do I like it? I would say it's a solid like A. I do have a little, a little bit of redness and a little bit of breaking out. But just, other than that, I think I have pretty, pretty good skin and I don't feel the need to be using like uh, a really 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 um full coverage foundation just because i feel like i don't need it you know what i mean then i'm gonna go in with more of the foundation that i just pumped out I'm trying to become a beauty guru but no sé lo que estoy haciendo so 
Um, somebody should come do my makeup. I should get one of my friends to come into my studio and show me how to do makeup. Because la mera verdad, no sé cómo aplicar esas pinch. We already got my full face done. Does it look good, guys? I don't really know. Uh, like that, it's glowy, but it still looks very, very natural. Like for me, I go for a natural. I would want to learn how to do a little bit more of dramatic makeup. But for right now, natural is what I'm going to be sticking on. And then I'm gonna go in with my concealer, and I'm gonna be using the Dior Skin Forever, and this is in the shade 022, and I'm just gonna be putting this under my eye a little bit to get, you know, brighten up a little bit. I kind of have a better, I find that it's like a little too um, pinky for my tip. Whoever matched me for this concealer is kind of not, the, didn't match me well. And so I like the finish of the concealer, I just don't really like the color. On the freaking skin like i said guys like can you guys make like a meme video like of me applying makeup because i don't know what i'm doing but like i said if any of you guys want to help me out and tell me what i'm doing wrong definitely let me know because i would love to you know educate myself very secret makeup which i'm so freaking excited i'm gonna be opening the brushes which is what i i should have started using the brushes in the beginning of the video but um nimodo will just Go with the flow using this powder brush and we're gonna we're gonna use it as a bronzer let's see how well it works so this is what it looks like it's very good packaging like the ferrule feels really good when you work in a fashion slash beauty industry you kind of see the markup in items and you see a lot of things normal consumer won't see um but this brush does feel pretty pretty good and for the set to be 16 dollars for it to be synthetic i don't think it's um that bad priced and then I have two hula bronzers. I have the one from high school, like a newer version. So we're gonna go in with the older one. We're gonna go in with this. And then we're just gonna be like applying it like that. And then we just, instead of going like back and forth like that, I'm kind of just like swiveling it in. Like that. You just kind of swivel it in and you just kind of like work it and blend it in. Instead of going up and down, you kind of swirl it in and it kind of makes the, it makes my bronzer look a lot better and a lot more natural. That's like the look I'm going for. And then I'm just gonna be applying some down here. Do like the brushes. And now I kind of want to go in with um, Never. So I don't tend to put anything on my um, on my brow, put anything. I feel like my brows look pretty good as it is. And I kind of like the natural thing that I'm going for. So I have my brow or Never. I'm just gonna be applying it and um, it's just a like clear brow gel. And I think this is nothing special. This is something you can definitely get like at like the Anastasia brow gel or like, you know, the e.l.f. brow gel that's like a dollar or two dollars. Like, I feel like it's just a brow gel that it shouldn't really matter as much or like the Maybelline Great Lashes and Clear you could use it as a brow gel. And yeah, so I just applied the brow gel. I mean, I don't really see a difference, but I mean, it's just brow gel. And we're going to be going in with the highlighters because that's something that I wanted to use. So we're gonna go ahead and open this. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna swatch them and then I'm gonna pick which one I wanna put on. Right here, just gonna open it up. And this kind of reminds me of like the NARS like um, stick that has like three different uses for it. Champagne gold color. So um, the way I saw the I saw this video by a Victoria's Secret angel called Jasmine Tukes. She did like uh, get ready with me, and she used a lot of these makeup pieces. And the way she applied it is she just grabbed it by her face, which is something that I want to do. But I do want to give it a nice, handy dandy classic swatch. Can you see that? Is that blinding? Is that sickening? Oh yeah, that is sickening. It's like nice glow like look at that like that looks so beautiful looks like it is like a nice and then we're gonna go ahead and swatch the um glow on and on and on palette and one two and we're just gonna like press it on here Ooh, ooh, that's very disappointing I'm going with the second color called sparkling champagne and this rosy color and ooh, that was not a good swatch guys I'm gonna go in oh my god they look really chalky Okay, you see that? Ooh, ooh, that was, okay, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. And now we're gonna go in with the last color in white gold, which now I'm really scared to use because I feel like it's not gonna, oh my God, that's a hot mess. Like these are so chalky, like they don't apply really well. Oh my God. But that looks so disappointing on. Now I kind of want to try this just to see how it looks like. That's quite awful. Like, oh my god, like I'm still kind of shocked. Like, oh my god, Victoria's Secret, you let me down. Like, this is, I don't know how this is going to perform. Now that now I'm really, really curious to see how it applies. So, I would spray a Fix Plus on the brush and then apply it with. 
but I just want to see how the item performed by itself. So I'm going to be using my my nice brush on this Victoria's Secret um, highlighter palette. So um, I'm going to be using my Wayne Goth 02 highlighting brush. I've had this for quite a bit and it's really good quality. And I'm going to go in with the color Honey Lights because I want to see how it applies. Because if it doesn't apply well, I could just use this stick to go over it. Or no, actually I want to go with white gold. We're going to go with the white one just to see how bad it looks like oh my god like i don't know like oh my god first video and this stuff is like really chalky like it literally looks like chalk on from the concrete so now we're gonna apply this and we're gonna see i'm gonna give you a so i'm gonna pick it up on my brush like one two three four and we're gonna see how it applies it's awful oh my god oh my god guys Oh my god, guys, that is awful. It doesn't look good. It looks chalky. Do you guys see that? Oh my god. Yeah, this. Do it on the floor because it's not. It's, I'm not going to be putting that on my face anymore. Disappointed. Let's actually go with this one right here. I feel like this one will not disappoint me. I'm going to do what Jasmine Tooks did in that video. She's going to apply it with her finger. Um, I'm grabbing some of the pre product and I'm just going to be applying it. And yeah, so that looks a lot better. Like that looks so natural and it doesn't really have to do with the color. Like if you can see, like that looks like it applied a lot better. Yeah, like this without a doubt is like a million times better than this. So, <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe I'm giving it a negative review. I'm just really weird. I'm a little nervous for my first video. It takes a little bit um, to warm up to the camera. So far, I like this highlighter a lot better now let's go ahead and go with the eyeshadows i don't know how to apply eyeshadow but i do want to swatch it so i have my little thing here i swatched it with this one so now i'm going to use this hand right here to swatch it so one kind of get a little feel for it i'm going to swatch that <laughs> did you see my look on that like let's grab angel let's see how angel oh no eclipse eclipse is the darkest color so we're going to be like that Royal. Oh my god. I'm kind of really getting disappointed in this. Like, are, are these shadows just not good? Oh my god. So now we're going to have one more. Other shimmers and not mattes, but this is, like, quite disappointing. I understand that big Tracer Grip models kind of go for that natural look. So maybe that's why it's not pigmented. Maybe that's why the highlighter, but, like, the highlighter just looks gross. Like, I don't even see... Elsa Hulk, I don't see Romy, I don't see Jasmine, I don't see Candice Wanapol, I don't see Alessandra Ambrosio, like even though she's not a Victoria's Secret model anymore, I don't see them reaching for this, I see them reaching for something else. And these eyeshadow palette, like this is like, I kind of like, I'm really disappointed. I don't even want to swatch the other colors, like I already swatched the matte and two shimmers and just a no. So I do not, like no. We're going to go in with these right here and these are the Victoria's Secret Eye Glows and like I said they come in two colors so this one with the kind of gold and the rose gold is called Glitty and Gorgeous here and then the other one is called Wild and Hypnic and it's a purpley with a pinky four colors just because I know you guys want to see palm on my hands and so it's like a spoolie so I don't really have to swatch it but I will put it right here. Can you see that? I'll give it one more swatch. Um, it's a little sheer. She's a little sheer, but she's she's coming through. So let's use the other color. You think she'll come through, guys? Yeah. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Look at that. Look up. Oh my god, that's beautiful. I'm gonna swatch it one more time. Oh my god, these are awesome. I wanna. Oh my god, I feel like if I apply this on my eyes, it's gonna look like me out of It's literally gonna look like poop just because I don't know what I'm doing, but ugh, this is beautiful. Now let's watch the excitement and makeup. Like, this is why I wanna learn how to do makeup because it, this is like, I feel like it's like, it's like excitement all over. Like, it's like excitement that is really sheer. I'm gonna go in with it one more sheer, but it's, uh, yeah, that's pretty bad. But it's more like for like the natural. Those are pretty awful. Like, there's no, like, pigment in it. Um, but, oh my god, I do love this brown and the pinky one. So, I like this one, but I don't like these colors. But, like, well, I, I know you can't see it because of my skin tone, but, like, that's that's really sheer. Now we have the mascara, and then we have the velvet matte left. 
but I think I'm gonna go in with this kind of goldy color on my eyelid and we're just gonna see if, if I'll nail it. We'll see how this goes. And then I'm gonna go in with the Victoria's Secret brush right here. And I'm just gonna blend that out. Let's see how that looks like. That's actually really cute. Like, look at that. That's gorgeous. Yeah, I like it because it's like a really like natural new tone color. We're gonna go in with this brush. Oh my god. Watch me get like so many thumbs down. Sorry guys, I don't know what I'm doing. Actually quite cute. That's actually really cute. I really like it. It's really good. I just don't like the highlight, but my skin looks... I really like it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so now we're gonna go with the mascara and we're gonna be going in with the Major Lashes mascara and we're gonna test this puppy out um pretty good quality so like the wand on it i didn't even show you guys a wand see that's how a non-beauty guru i am so like the one looks like that Ooh, that's really good hold up i'll do a close-up let me put it on my other eye guys i really like it look at this like i look like such a pretty boy oh my god do we like guys I really like it. Oh my, so the last thing that we're gonna be trying out, I know I'm a little boring guys, but I mean, you can't blame me for my first video. So I'm gonna be going with the Velvet Matte in the color Perfection. Do what Jasmine Tooks did. She's gonna get a little bit on her hand and then she's just gonna apply it on by herself. But first I'm gonna be going in with the MAC Lip Liner in the color Soar. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. The way she did it in her video is, and I will actually link that video down below. She kind of went like that and she kind of scooped some of the product out like that and then she just went and put that on her lips so that's what i'm gonna do right now oh my god guys oh my god i'm deceased like literally guys literally this looks awesome like i really like my look guys i feel like a million dollars and finishing touches max six plus we're about to shade this i've done this in the past because i'm like like i said i'm not an actual beauty guru i sprayed this over my face and the mascara kind of like drips in it like makes a huge mess so i'm just not gonna put it on my eyes i love this so much guys i love this so now we're gonna be talking about the items that are gonna be sergio secrets approved a jeffree star approved so i'm gonna go ahead and show you the items that were not approved so unfortunately the glow on and on and on is not going to be approved it's just chalky it's not there not worth 18 dollars oh eyes on you eyeshadow palette not worth 24 dollars do not spend your money on this um eye glow in this colorway i'm not going to be approving everything else is going to be a sergio secret approved the victoria secret major lashes is going to be an approved item brushes seem pretty pretty good quality i would the lip Velvet lip mattes, I do like them. They do transfer quite a bit, but I mean, for a nice, comfortable lip, I do really like these and I have tried these in the past, so I'm gonna Sergio approve that. Then I believe the last two items is the Just Say Glow in this uh, color eye stick. And the Just Say Glow, I am gonna be approved. And like I said, this looks beautiful. Like the way it's washed is really nice. I love this tone of color just because it really goes and complements my skin tone. So I am gonna be Sergio Secrets approving that. And the item that's also going to be a mix is going to be this eye glow in the colorway um, and gorgeous just because I mean and then the last thing is the brow or never um, it's just a brow gel nothing more nothing less I'm gonna go ahead and prove it because it's just like a nice basic eyebrow gel so all in all these items are not approved would not recommend you guys spend your money on that these items right here I think you should spend your money on on the glow, the mascara, the lip colors, and the brow gel. Maybe the brushes and this uh, particular eye glow. Far for the Jeffree Star sponge that I used today. I do like them and I do think they're worth whatever they were. I think it was $14 and I used a coupon code. So I think they were $14 even for all three of them. Um, I just think it's just like a basic sponge. Um, nothing more, nothing less. But I do like the pink color and I do like the way it applied my makeup. So I am going to be approving this. Right, guys, that's going to conclude my first little makeup kind of review video these will obviously get better as i start doing more and i get more familiar of how to play with the camera warming up with the camera and you know doing more things i would definitely appreciate you guys your feedback or just any questions comments questions and concerns that you have watching sergio secrets and i'll see you back on my channel pretty soon do i look like a big true secret angel guys do i look like alessandro ambrosio do i look like um adriana lima do i look like candace one paul do i look like be hottie i don't know but Bye guys, thank you so much for watching.
Thank you.